When performing a biopsy, it's essential that both the radiologist and radiographer carefully review the case in advance, together. There is also one golden rule. Try to use the projection, which gives the best view of the lesion, and also the access route with the shortest distance from the skin, making it as comfortable as possible for the patient. This will facilitate targeting, optimize timing, and therefore increase success rates. Each of the following questions should be discussed. What is the location of the lesion? This will determine the approach and patient positioning. What is the thickness of the compressed breast? A vertical approach might not be possible if the thickness is not suitable. Shall the patient be sitting or recumbent? Is it necessary to use a spacer to lift the breast from the detector? In this clinical case, the lesion is in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast, making it suitable for the use of a horizontal approach with external access in a sitting position, left side approach. Draw a straight line from the nipple to the chest wall and a perpendicular one from the lesion to intersect with the first. These measurements will be replicated in the breast to ease positioning. It is also important to know that the distance from the skin to the lesion should be less than 84 millimeters to be accessible with the standard N-core needle length. The patient has already been informed about the exam, risks, benefits and how much her cooperation is crucial to the success of it. The CESM biopsy exam is started from the acquisition workstation. Once the NCORE bracket is attached to the driver and the driver to the fire forward accessory, the 113mm 10G probe is mounted into the driver, ensuring it is ready in the pre-fire position. Press the Encore foot pedal to calibrate. And finally, attach the horizontal approach adapter to the fire forward accessory following the left side approach. All materials needed for the exam are prepared in advance. The injector syringe is filled with the iodine contrast. Safety checks are completed for air removal. The injector console is set up with volume and flow rate indications. The vessel is prepared for contrast media injection. Add a skin mark according to the measurements previously done to ease positioning. Since we'll be performing a left side approach, the breast is pre-positioned so that the lesion lies on the half left side 
of the X-ray FOV, which ensures accessibility. Injection and on-screen chronometer are started at the same time. Position and compress the breast when time elapsed since injection start is close to two minutes. From the biopsy display, drive the biopsy head to the target coordinates. Using the Max Needle preset button, drive the biopsy head backwards while maintaining the target coordinates to free space for anesthesia injection. Insert the needle guide support. Insert the laser to mark the precise skin incision location. Inject superficial anesthesia to be followed by deep anesthesia. Touch the target button to come back to target coordinates. Introduce the needle guide. Attach the horizontal approach adapter with the Encore device to the biopsy head slider. The slider is driven manually all the way. The red line on the biopsy holder should be visible. Sampling is started with full notch, dense option activated, six samples, pair positions in total programmed. More anesthesia can be added at any time. In this case, we are adding it after a couple of samples are taken. Select the anesthetic tab, remove the basket rear cover, connect anesthesia syringe with the anesthetic adapter, fill it with anesthesia to avoid entry of air in the breast and connect to the probe internal sheath. 
Press the 360 degree button so that the anesthesia is spread equally. When done, remove the anesthetic adapter and put the basket rear cover back in place. Continue sampling until the tissue is representative. 12 samples are recommended. The use of a tissue marker is strongly recommended since the lesion is not visible in conventional imaging. The marker is deployed in the biopsy coordinates shifted by 5 mm. Select the marker tab, replace basket rear cover with the marker adapter and introduce the marker applicator through the probe internal sheath. Make sure the applicator yellow marker aligns with the red probe marker. Push the applicator firmly all the way to release and deploy the tissue marker in place. Touch the rotate button on the screen. The notch will rotate 180 degrees to avoid pinching the tissue marker while closing the notch. Use the needle preset button to move the needle tip back by 15 millimeters or more. This will allow the marker to be displayed without being hidden by the tip of the needle on the following stereo pair. Tissue marker deployment can be verified with a stereo pair, single or dual energy, or with a DBT acquisition preferred. Scroll through the planes to check the tissue marker placement versus the biopsy coordinates. The exam is finished. The breast is decompressed. Information about how to proceed after the biopsy is given to the patient while tight compression is applied in the biopsy area for hemostasis. Biopsy entry point is shown to the patient and the area where a hematoma might be visible in the coming hours is shown as well. A wound closure strip is used. Routine CC and ML views are carried out to check the tissue marker placement.